playground is for all young children because there's nothing worse than a child who can't play on equipment standing on the sidelines watching. Winners will represent the region at the National Awards in Sydney on the 4th of December. In Tamworth, Roche Murdoch, Prime 7 News. The Glen Innes community is one step closer to getting a much-needed helicopter pad at the hospital. $20,000 has been given to the cause by the state government in a bid to remove the first roadblock to the project. A passionate group of Glen Innes locals have banded together in their fight for a helipad. Initially, they were given a quote of $600,000 for the project. The community was shocked by the figure. Gyra is um, less than $100,000, so 60 kilometres down the road. But now there is reason for celebration. A $20,000 grant will go towards getting a detailed design done to give a more accurate quote. The community has already raised $120,000 for the helipad. I want that money that the community's raised to be completely spent on the construction of the helipad. They shouldn't have to spend that money on any of the planning work, and now because of this grant they won't have to. As it stands at the moment, any patient needing a helicopter has to be transported via an ambulance to an oval down the road. That takes a considerable amount of time and handling for the patient. They have to be loaded into the ambulance, unloaded down at the site and then back up into, uh, into the helicopter. As well as that, it's not the most efficient use of taxpayer dollars. It requires the health service to spend money to get the ambulance service to transport patients to and from the helicopter to the hospital. And that's a, that, that's a ridiculous cost which doesn't need to be there. Charlotte Mortlock, Prime 7 News. Sport is next with a win for the home side in the regional final of 15s basketball and two NEG students show their skills on four legs.